First of all, let me say that before we uh, get started this morning, Mr. Thread, excuse me, um, not Mr. Threadgill like that. Mr. Harwell is sick this morning, and that's why he couldn't attend like that. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, Mr. Battles if he would lead us in prayer and pledge as we start. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the knowledge that you bring to each of us to carry on the business of the Mobile Public School System. I thank you for my colleagues and for all the people who work in the Mobile County Public School System. And we pray for the officer who was slain last week and his family that they would have peace this morning. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation. Before I um, get comments from uh, all the board members before we start, I'd like to say very, very surprised this morning, but uh, very thankful. And I've told some of our other board members that uh, I think we needed to be standing out there congratulating you because you guys were the ones that do the hard work for all of our children and parents in Mobile County. But that being said, thank you very much for uh, the recognition this morning. Dr. Foster, any comments? No, sir. Okay. Mr. Battles? No, sir. Dr. Crenshaw? No, sir. Okay. <clears throat> Mr. Uh, Threadgill, uh, Threadgill, any comments before we get started? No, sir. Okay. All right. Well, we'll go ahead with our uh, recognition, excuse me, our approval of minutes. Do I hear a motion that we approve uh, the minutes from the last meeting? So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the previous minutes. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, do I hear a motion for agenda adoption? So moved. Second. Do I have a motion and a second for agenda adoption? <coughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, any other announcements before we go further? All right, we'll move right on to reports and recognitions. Ms. Phillips. Good morning. Good morning. So this morning I have the official whereas recognition of the school board, but I wanted to read a poem for you guys, um, for the board. Um, there are individuals who walk among us never looking for glory or praise. They don't seek recognition for their thoughtful, caring ways, living lives of deep commitment, providing for those they hold dear, steadfast with a quiet strength through times of laughter and tears. Each of you are committed to MCPSS, selfless in every way, so we say thank you for being shining lights each and every day. Now, um, Mr. Threadgill, will you come and present the board with their official recognitions? And can all five of you please come forward, all four of you? Is it a check in there also? That's right. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and I'll just say the official, whereas the Mobile County Board of School Commissioners is committed to children and believe that all children can be successful learners and that the best education is tailored to the individual needs of the child, and whereas the Mobile County Board of School Commissioners works closely with parents, educational professionals, and other community members to create the educational environment we want for our students, and whereas the Mobile County Board of School Commissioners is responsible for ensuring the structure that provides a solid foundation for our school system, and whereas members of the Mobile County Board of School Commissioners are strong advocates for public education and are responsible for communicating the needs of the school district to the public and the public's expectations to the district, now, therefore, I, Crussell Threadgill, do hereby declare my appreciation to the Mobile County Board of School Commissioners and proclaim the month of January 2019 as School Board Recognition Month. Thank you. Now I'd like to call forward Andrea Dennis and Dr. Crenshaw, can you stay up here? What district is this? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I think I District 3 is going to have a busy day today. About time. Uh, your district. <laughs> <laughs> 
Scarborough Model Middle School Principal Andrea Dennis was surprised by state and local officials and her faculty recently with news that she had been named the Middle School Principal of the Year for the entire state of Alabama by the Alabama Association of Secondary School Principals. So that deserves a round of applause. Under Dennis's leadership, Scarborough was one of five MCPSS schools to improve two letter grades on this year's state report cards, pulling its score up from an F to a C. She credited her staff and students and said they will continue working to improve even more. Previously an assistant principal at Theodore High, Dennis became principal at Scarborough in 2016 when the school was reconstituted into the county's first model middle school. As a model middle school, Scarborough offers more mentoring and intervention opportunities as well as rigorous classes and expanded electives. I also want to mention that she was the statewide assistant principal of the year while she was at Theodore. So we're very lucky to have her at Mobile County Public Schools. Let me just uh, say uh, how long I've been knowing this young lady. Uh, we attended church together, and uh, her mother was in my Sunday school class, and she was a little bitty, bitty girl. <laughs> and uh, it's just good to see her grown through the Mobile County Public School system and also to become quite a leader she is. She works very hard. Uh, she stays late hours. Uh, I show up occasionally and bring her some money and ease out the back door. Uh, but she's very appreciative and I understand that the students respect her and her staff tremendously because I think kids don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And they definitely show that at Scarborough. So on behalf of the Mobile County Public School System, this is a certificate of recognition of Walter Andrea Dennis, Middle School Principal of the Year, Alabama Association of Secondary School Principal Scarborough Model Middle School, signed by all the board, all the board members, Superintendent Mr. Kressler D. Threadgear. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Crenshaw, and thank you, everyone. I just want to say I, I understand that I was recognized, but this is a reflection of everything that my team does at Scarborough. So I have a phenomenal group of teachers and staff, and they work hard every day. So this recognition goes to them, too. Thank you. Thank you. And Dr. Crenshaw, you can come back. <laughs> Another one? <laughs> <laughs> and Dr. Foster, can you come as well? And also, I'd like, to call, <laughs> I'd like to call forward Mrs. Crystal Galloway, Mrs. Tierra Cooper, and Ms. Angela Agnew. I mean, Jessica Agnew, sorry. Cooper. All right. Now I'll start with Crystal Galloway. Will you let everyone know who you are? Crystal Galloway is the gifted education teacher at Mary B. Austin Elementary School, and she is our countywide elementary school principal of the year. And I understand her principal's here. If you'll stand, Melissa Wiggum. Teacher, teacher, teacher. Oh, did I call you principal? I'm sorry. Principal, principal. I mean, teacher, teacher, sorry. <laughs> teacher of the year. Surprise. Um. All right. So Mrs. Galloway is known for her innovative lessons that challenge her students to think above and beyond the curriculum. One project she leads is the Genius Hour, where she spends one hour a week working with groups of fifth graders on individual areas of interest. Students pick their own topic, research it, and present on it. Topics have ranged from what are the algorithms of a Rubik's Cube to how can understanding the effects of endorphins on a person's mood positively affect the behavior of kids. Fifth graders, yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> she wrote in her application, yes, my class is engaging and we learn a wealth of cool stuff in cool ways. But at the end of the day, my job is about adding to the story of each student and empowering them to shine. Congratulations. <laughs> and next we have Tiara Cooper, who is an English language arts teacher at Phillips Preparatory. And I know that her principal, Ms. Hartzog, is here. Will you stand? Yeah. Yeah. Taking pictures. And also, oh yeah, um, 
so her leadership roles at the school include being the head basketball coach and the former head volleyball <coughs> coach and athletic director, the middle school teacher team leader, the ELA department chair, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes sponsor, and a member of the International Baccalaureate Implementation Team. Cooper exposes her students to different styles and genres of literature and uses creative ways of studying <coughs> the texts from converting Shakespeare's Midsummer Night's Dream into modern vernacular to discussing Rosa Parks, my story, as a part of an approach to injustice lesson. It is, quote, it is not uncommon for my students to hear me say, think beyond the moment and beyond the walls of the classroom. How is this relevant to our daily lives? Cooper wrote in her application, I intentionally implement lessons that connect my students to the world. Congratulations for being our middle school teacher of the year. <laughs> And next we have Jessica Agnew who teaches advanced placement calculus and honors pre-calculus at Baker High School and her principal Mr. Peru is here. We stand. All the principals are taking lots of pictures. <laughs> <laughs> she is our high school teacher of the year. A 2006 graduate of Baker, she has taught at the school since 2010. In 2018, she helped create Baker's ACT preparation curriculum, as well as serving as an athletic academic advisor at the school. She has been a part of Baker's mentor teaching program since 2015, and has served as a cheerleading coach and assistant cross country and track coach during her time at the school. In her time as an AP calculus teacher, Agnew students have enjoyed a great success on the AP Calculus exam, scoring a qualifying score of three or higher on 86% of exams taken. And thanks in part to her work to help create Baker's ACT preparation curriculum, Baker saw an increase in the number of students at or above benchmark on the ACT from 2017 to 2018. Congratulations. Before I hand it over to the board, if you are one of their family members, can you stand so we can give you a round of applause? Because I know you probably help a lot in their class. Two for you. I had the pleasure of. Uh, attended the presentation to Ms. Galloway there at her school and uh, it's amazing we walked in the kids were just so excited they didn't stop hugging on her and she could hardly accept the award for hugging on her kids and she just stopped and did that and that's important that our kids know that uh, teachers really care about them and that it's all right to, to have a nice hug. I also want to commend her husband, raise your hand, drove again all the way from Arkansas then and he's here now so you have a great family and, and uh, we just want to let you know how much we appreciate what you're doing there at the school system with those fifth graders uh, because it's kind of hard for even adults to understand uh, what you put putting down in that classroom but it's tremendous and we want to say uh, congratulations I want to present you with the certificate it says the Mobile County Public Schools uh, Certificate of Recognition Award to Crystal Galloway Mobile County Elementary Teacher of the Year Mary B. Austin Elementary School, signed by Mr. Kressler Thregia, along with all the other board members. Congratulations. <laughs> and to Ms. Tiara Cooper, that's correct. We have a certificate for you. Ms. Cooper is also a uh, girls basketball coach, and I have not had the pleasure of, of uh, refereeing any of her games. I'm glad I didn't, because she probably been fussing and of what not at me. <laughs> but she has quite an engaged classroom also. When we walked in, they were all excited for her and uh, the eyes were just, you know, just bright and whatnot. And that just shows that there's a great teaching and learning process that's going on in your classroom. So we're gonna present this certificate to you. It says the Mobile County Public School System Certificate of Recognition Award to Tiara Cooper, Mobile County Middle School Teacher of the Year, Phillips Preparatory School. Congratulations. It is my distinct pleasure to award this certificate from the Mobile County Board of School Commissioners to Jessica Agnew, who is the Mobile County High School Teacher of the Year from Baker High School. And uh, her husband, Paul, is here. Paul, you married well. <laughs> uh, his uh, <clears throat> mother and father used to be my neighbors. Uh, and anyway, um, we're, we're certainly 
certainly very proud of you. My grandchildren, one is attending there, the other one will be there next year. And uh, I'm sure both of them will be through something that you're teaching there because they're a lot smarter than, our pop is, than their pop is. And so we want to uh, acknowledge the fact that you are, in fact, our high school teacher of the year. Congratulations, Jessica. know that these teachers were chosen from among the teachers of the year at 89 of our schools so it's a big deal to be recognized this way and now dr. Crenshaw has a presentation that he would like to make on yesterday I got a call to come to uh, Cedar Grove uh, Baptist Church in Pritchett to accept uh, these toiletries that were prepared for the homeless students. And it just really uh, touched my heart to know or to understand how many of our children are actually living in cars and living in hotels. Uh, I, I didn't realize how many there are, but there are quite a number. And I thought it was quite fitting that the church thought enough to uh, get, bring these toiletries here and also a cash donation uh, to be presented to the social science department. So you come up, I'm social works department. On behalf of the Matron Society of Cedar Grove Baptist Church, along with all its members and officers, I'd like to present this check to you to be used for services for the homeless students and also these toiletries here. Thank you so much. You're more than welcome. Cedar Grove has helped us before. I'm Denise Reamer, the lead social worker for Mobile County Public Schools, and Cedar Grove has actually helped us before. These toiletries are extremely important for all ages of our uh, homeless children who do live in hotels and shelters and sometimes in cars. Um, and we get them out to the different, um, the different schools. We have homeless students in all of our 89 schools, and so these help us a lot to make sure that the children can feel the same as everyone else and they can succeed academically without any stigma. So thank you very much for Cedar Grove to donate this for us. Thank you. All right, we're going to now move on to uh, citizens' request. Uh, Mr. Superintendent, do we have any requests this morning? Uh, yes, I would like to remind everyone that on December the 17th of 2018, we amended the public participation uh, policy um, to have a procedure. If you're not familiar with that policy, there are some copies on the table as you exit the board boardroom. Um, and there's a certain procedure that you will need to follow to be able to speak before the board. So with that being said, um, Mr. Stringfellow, we do not have any um, announcements, um, delegates to right. speak. Right. Thank you, Mr. Superintendent, and thank you for explaining that uh, process again. And if there are any additional questions about it after the meeting, you can certainly meet the superintendent or one of his staff members about that. Mr. Superintendent, we're going to move on to the action item, G action items, and I will let you start. Okay, I want to make a note. Uh, we've added an action item, G21. It's assistant um, assignment of assistant principals. That's G21. That's an added item, which will be listed under separate cover. Also, let me uh, go ahead and mention another added item in the consent uh, agenda. Uh, it will be H12 for mastery prep. 
I will go over that once we get to the consent uh, agenda. So first, let me begin with action item G1. Uh, it's with the state examiner audit con contract to retain services for the Department of Examiners for Public Accounting to conduct an audit of federal wards in conjunction with our an annual financial audits. I ask that you approve action item G1. Mr. Chairman, sir, in as much as these items have been vetted in our work session, I'd like to offer a motion to approve uh, uh, items 1 through uh, 18, 1 through 15. Second. Okay, we have a motion to approve action items G1 through G15, and we have a second. Uh, any further discussion? No further discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Okay, action item uh, G16, uh, certified resignations. Um, this will be listed under separate uh, cover. I ask that you approve action item G16, which will be listed under separate cover. Okay. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve action item G16. Any further discussion? All right, no further discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Okay, action item G17, certified assignment, uh, which is also listed under separate cover. Uh, I ask that you approve the certified assignment, action item G17. So move. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve action item G17, certified assignments. Any further discussion? All right, no further discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Okay, action item G18, termination of probationary classified personnel, which is listed under separate cover. I ask that you approve action item G18, termination of probationary classified personnel. Mr. Chairman. Sir. Off of motion, we approve items 18 through 20. 21. 21. Well, I want to okay, okay. talk about 21. 18 through 20? Yeah. Okay. Second. Okay, we have a motion to approve uh, action items G18 through 20, and we have a second. Any further discussion? No further discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Okay, action item G21, assignments of assistant principal, which is listed under separate cover in a separate sheet there. I ask that you approve action item G21, assignments of assistant principal. <coughs> My G21 says uh, classified assignments. <coughs> so does mine. It's, you should have a separate. So well, I'm looking on it was an added item, so it's probably going to be on e board. <coughs> let's see. Let's on here? See. I had to move mine too because I only had 12 items on my agenda, so I eventually found where the agenda for today was. Oh, so, so this assignment of principles or assistant principles? Assistant principles. Okay, okay, see, my e board says assignment of principles. Anybody else got that? No, that's still Mine's right. got assistant principals. I, I should be assistant principals. I, mine doesn't have it at all. I don't, I don't see it. You got it, it at the, the top, but then on the heading of the chart, it says assignment principal, but it is assistant principals. Okay. Yes, that's it right. Is. It is. All for motion to approve action item G21. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve action item G21. Any further discussion? No further discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Uh, motion carries. The consent agenda, Mr. Superintendent. Yes, we have one added item. Uh, <coughs> um, item H12 is for mastery prep to provide a professional development workshop entitled Decoding the ACT for 59 Teachers from B.C. Rain, Blunt, LaFleur, Biger, and Williamson. Uh, it's coming out of federal uh, funds, Title II funds, to not to exceed 4000 Twenty dollars, Mr. Chairman. Sir, with the exception of number twelve, which was added, if I, if I remember correctly, yes, Superintendent. Uh, the others we have added uh, in our work session. I move approval for items for consent agenda items one through eleven. Second. All right, we have a motion to approve consent agenda items 
H1 through 11. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? No further discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. H12, Mr. Superintendent. Okay, again, H12, <laughs> mastery prep. Um, Funds, again, coming out of Title II funds, do not exceed $4,020. I ask that you approve uh, action uh, consent item H-12. Mr. Chairman. Sir? Off a motion, we approve action, action item 12 through 14. Okay. Second. All right, we have a motion to approve uh, action items H-12 through 14, and we have a second. Any further discussion? No further discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Mr. Superintendent. <clears throat> yes, on to action item I, student expulsion. We should have uh, seven, uh, I through I7, uh, student expulsions, which is also listed under separate cover. I ask that you approve the uh, action item I, one through seven, student expulsions. Mr. Chairman. Sir. Move approval of items one through seven, the student expulsion. Second. Okay. We have a motion and a second to approve uh, action items I, one through seven, student expulsions. Uh, any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. We'll move on to uh, information, Mr. Superintendent. Yes, information items J1, uh, the monthly financial statements, and J2, purchase orders, uh, 5,000 and, and over. Okay. Uh, those are the information items I ask that you. Okay, approve. thank you. Uh, now, again, would like to thank Ms. Zerlot for making it where I could read it easier like that. It's the little things that make a difference for me like that. All right, we're going to move on to uh, attorney client privilege, Mr. Counselor. I sent an email to the board on last Tuesday regarding some proposed suspension agreements for the board to consider. Mr. Chairman. Sir? Off a of motion that we concur with the recommendation of the attorney per the uh, su proposed suspension items. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the uh, attorney client uh, privilege recommendations from the counselor. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. <clears throat> Scheduling of meetings, Mr. Superintendent. Uh, yes, sir. Um, Mr. Hartwell had asked about a uh, facility meeting. I have it scheduled for February the 4th at 1030. Uh, I will make sure that he is aware of that time, that date and time. Okay. Ms. Uh, Abrams, I'm sure you'll do. Also, I think we have uh, student hearings this Wednesday um, uh, scheduled. So uh, I know, I'm, I think we have a quorum for that. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Any other meetings, Mr. Superintendent? No, sir. Mr. Chairman. Sir. I, I noticed maybe just an attention left off the superintendent request that you should be a part of the agenda. But anyway, what I wanted to request with the superintendent. That means no no request. <laughs> yeah. I beg your pardon. Because we don't, that may be a giveaway there. <laughs> I, I, I like did that. talk with the superintendent on uh, this weekend about uh, assessing what more we could do uh, at the extracurricular activities in the evening time, not just at basketball games, but after football games. <laughs> and I asked him if he would bring back to the board uh, the possible costs uh, associated with having additional uh, police officers in the parking lot. I know this would be a strain on, on some of the schools because of the attendance and revenue from the games not, not that high, but we have to do something to protect the children and the adults at those games. So if you would just pre prepare for the board uh, a, a uh, assessment of, of what it would take to secure these games, um, uh, uh, and also uh, uh, the POPs associated costs going with it. Right. Um, proactively, we've, we've uh, met with the police chief uh, prior to this incident happening, um, and we're actually looking at, uh, Andy and I are scheduled another meeting with the police, the police department uh, to address these issues. We currently have um, schools now that are already um, 
uh, paying for um, patrol officers to um, patrol the parking lots. Um, but what we're looking at now is to make a man mandate that all schools um, hire a patrol officer uh, to patrol those parking lot at those extracurricular act activities. Uh, we do not have the cost as of yet. Um, those are some things that we're working on to trying to find find out to see how costly it would would, would be. Um, but we are working on those. So I will get, get back with you on that. Yes, thank you. All right, Chairman. Sir. I also had spoken to the superintendent this morning to request uh, his plan regarding uh, the federal program on those failing schools and on the state program, or what plan does he have in order to make a, a significant difference? We do understand, too, that what's happening with the failing schools is not on his watch. This is a part of the previous. But uh, anyway, I would like to assess what plan so I could see what input that I could have in order to make sure that we uh, really make a real difference in that. Okay. Um, there, there again, we're, we're being very proactive, um, all, although, and thank you for saying that, it wasn't on my watch. Um, it's, it's pretty much my watch now. Uh, so we have a, a plan of action, and uh, I will be getting that to you uh, shortly. I'll be waiting on it. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Foster, any, any comments from you? Uh, I think there was one thing maybe we forgot to do. I don't know, but I wanted to... It occurred to me after when we started the meeting, I wanted to thank, uh, I believe I saw, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Blunt High School and Mary G. Montgomery High School out front welcoming the board today. And I see on the table here Booker T. Washington with uh, some goodies for the board, and they provided these, and I'm sure packaged them up and made them look really good brightens the day and I, I just wanted to be sure we recognize those schools for going out of their way to do something uh, that means a lot to to board members board members i think get more out of what it is that kids do and what kids are involved in than we do anything else with the school system and we certainly want to thank them for that we also have um, an additional su surprise for you we have Causey. I believe it's Causey uh, Middle School Choir will be here um, to sing for you all. So we do want to recognize Causey as well. And I want to recognize all the, uh, I'm certainly not going to try to name the names, but all the people that helped in decorating and, and uh, organizing uh, this board of recognition. Uh, I know Michelle McClung and Dr. Uh, Jones and Dr. Motley and Dr. Brackens. Um, played a major role in it, so I want to thank those ladies for assisting. Oh, thank you. I'm beginning to believe that uh, we're about in Mardi Gras season because <laughs> when I walked in the entrance out there, I was afraid I was going to have to wear a cape when I came in. But uh, I don't know where you got those from. But uh, the, yeah, it, it, you're right, Dr. Foster. This has really been wonderful, and we appreciate it. I would like to also add that I concur. Uh, with uh, Dr. Crenshaw that uh, having it safe and secure at our facilities for sporting events or any other kind of event is important. And Mr. Uh, Superintendent, anything that, uh, and I know you're working on it and I appreciate that, anything that we can do to enhance the, those uh, protection items, uh, I'm certainly in favor. And I'm sure all the board members would be also like that. So. I know it's a concern, uh, but we need to do whatever is necessary to make those those facilities safe for all of our children and parents and teachers and people that uh, participate in those things. Okay. okay. All right. Do I hear a motion for adjournment? So I moved. I, yeah. I, I just wanted to say also that um, having been on the board for about 14 years, I, I think this is one of the nicest uh, appreciations. Uh, gestures that we have had. No money at all. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Thregia said he has the checks after the meeting. <laughs> but um, I just want to say thank you so much for this. It really makes us feel good. Thank you. And um, we will talk with you about having this decoration moved to my home. <laughs> <laughs> motion to adjourn. Okay, we have a motion. All in favor, say aye. Aye. aye.